It turns out that on the internet, people use Flash. <laughs> And so today, we would like to announce that we are fully open sourcing VPA under a completely royalty free license. Now there's one more thing too I wanted to talk about, which is support for video. And you know, there's been a lot of great work in video done on the web, and it's great to see innovation continuing, and we're really excited to see the VP8 work that's happening now. And so we're so excited. Uh, we're gonna put VP8 inside a flash player, and we're gonna distribute VP8 to over a billion people in less than a year of its release. So we're gonna really help push out the VP8 code out here. How you doing? Not too bad. What's your name? Greg Karen. Greg? Yeah, on uh, Twitter on Pixelad. Oh, yeah. awesome. Well, um, here I actually have the device uh, that was given out at uh, Google I.O. This is the free device from Sprint. It's an media. It's running um, Android 2.1. And I actually have uh, Air on it. I put Air on it just a second ago. I put a collection of apps on it. Um, and so I just want to play and see what you think. Pretty great game. Uh, Josh Tinsler actually built this game. I'm very excited for the one code base on multiple devices. Yeah. You know, uh, sharing, having you know, one app, one air app, and it'll work on you know, a smaller device or work on a tablet. Yeah, because yeah. interesting enough, uh, the same APKs that are built here run on tablet devices, will run on Google TV, uh, will run on these devices because it's all in. Right. Most interestingly controversial person in the last few weeks, <laughs> certainly involving Flash. So like kind of what kind of things are you building and what, what tools do you use? I'm looking at um, building more flex flex applications and trying to bring those to mobile. Uh, one of the one of the things I'm excited about, uh, Evo has a front-facing camera. So uh, the types of being able to access the camera and that front-facing. So building apps in Flash uh, in flex would be just a lot easier. Binding uh, components and kind of that would just, just be a lot easier for the interaction part. Yeah. I know we've had a lot of fun in the press. Side, an awful lot of stuff. Uh, Flash roughly is used by 100% of the web. Might be 99.97%. So why is Flash so important to this? What is Flash going to be used for in this new platform? Uh, why are we fighting for Flash? Well, Eric, first, I, I think it's tremendously exciting uh, announcements here. Thanks for having us. Um, I think it really is all about engaging experiences on the web. And as was uh, discussed, really the convergence of getting that content and applications to any device that people wish to consume those content and applications on, whether it's a smartphone on Android, whether it's TV, or whether it's a PC. And uh, as far as we're concerned, this is really about trying to create family harmony. So if uh, Rishi's family can get Elmo when they want and uh, the NBA when they want, it's all in flash and it works as advertised across all of these different devices. And I think for all of the content creators here, we'd love to give them an opportunity to be able to express their creativity and get it across all of this uh, set of devices. So um, here we have TBS website wow. playing some video there. It's the normal um, uh, desktop site. It hasn't been optimized for mobile. Yeah, you can zoom in. And we can also uh, go ahead and double tap on the video. Oh, nice. So, pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Hi, who hey, are you? I'm Ethan Malaski. I'm an engineering manager on the Air Team. What are you going to show us today? Well, today I'm showing off a little bit of uh, the Beta Air for Android SDK. What do you got? Well, what I've got is an add-in in add -in integrating Flash CS5 with uh, Android by the Air for Android SDK. Yeah. So you can sort of see the same content that runs here that you would uh, that you would debug on the desktop or demonstrate on the desktop also runs on this on the same phone. Can you make a quick change to the content so we can see it publish live? I would be delighted to. <laughs> so here's a simple change, it's just to change the color of this thing to something extremely different. Like that, that color. And then the process is really once you're set up to just publish. 
Pop Part of the configuration for, for, for Android tells it to push it right to the device and tells it to relaunch the new version. The APK file has been created, and look at that. It's running on the device within seconds of making the change. Boom. How cool just recently I started to get back into Flash, and you know, AS3 was kind of daunting at first. So I downloaded CS5 and it just it just made everything so much easier to use. Okay. And it's been it's been a really great great thing for us. And, you know, our company actually just started up a uh, interactive company recently working with the advertising agencies, building out that little kind of multi-touch uh, UI OS kind of thing in Flash so that we can use it on a number of, of different platforms. So cool, it's, cool. it's really cool. I mean it's Definitely a big fan. So. Sure. so I think these these types of applications, not that they were a lot harder to build in Java, but I think the, the you know having Flash and having that interaction that developers know and, and they love and they're used to, um, I think types of applications will really start to expand. Flash will really definitely help will help the development process. Special thanks to Adobe uh, for their incredible willingness to work with us, engage with us on Android and Chrome and many other areas. It's really fun to work with other folks in the ecosystem uh, to meet the needs of users.